garage, man. Look, I know I've taken a week off. We've been gone for quite some time. Believe me, I have not taken a week off of work. I simply took a week off of editing. So, <laughs> I, do, I have a lot of videos kind of piled up for you guys, which we are gonna get into this week, obviously. But, we did have shirts come in. So, if you guys have ordered any of the t-shirt designs, um, I got a big shipment in, um, and I'm gonna be sending out your guys' orders here uh, over the next couple of days. So, um, if you've been waiting on your order, it's on its way. I wanted to show you guys these now that we actually have them in person. Uh, that's the Deadbeat Dolls shirt. Uh, in which a lot of you guys are requesting for this to be made in men's t-shirts as well. Uh, I can do that if that's what you want. I'll actually have it up on the website either tonight or tomorrow. Um, I'll have the option available for you guys for this in a men's shirt. Uh, this is the freaking, dude, I really like this one. Uh, this is the Race It, Break It, Repeat t-shirt. Obviously with Braven's truck on the back. That dude, that came out really dope. What took these shirts so long to make is um, I wanted screen printing. Now a lot of people will go with direct to garment or uh, direct to film uh, printing whenever they make shirts like this because of how many colors it is and how you know small and minor some of the details are. It's got a lot of detail in it, you know what I mean? So a lot of people will go to um, this getting printed onto a big piece of rubber basically and then it gets heat pressed onto the shirt. I don't want to do that because to me that's not nearly as good of a quality shirt. So all these shirts are screen printed, man. Um, that's a lot more work, but it makes for a lot better shirt, in my opinion. Last but not least, this one's really sick too. So this is the Rughead shirt. Uh, this is actually the shirt that I'm going to be putting on right now. Uh, if you guys want any of these designs, they are only available for the, the rest of the month. Uh, come the 31st, these designs are going to be gone. And your opportunity to be entered for the cam giveaway is also gone. In which I want to let you guys know, um, with the cam giveaway, if if you don't want the cam itself, if you'd rather cash, I'll I'll cash you out. I'll do a cash option because I understand. I understand not everybody has interest in the cam. So um, if you do not have interest in the cam, then you can just take the cash. So it's a win-win. So even if you don't want the cam, there you go. You can have a cash option as well. But if you do want to get one of these uh, three t-shirt designs, they are only going to be available for the rest of the month. Uh, anyhow, as far as the week, uh, I started on a project in which you guys are going to see in tomorrow's video that just kind of went south and did not... It was supposed to be my easy Friday video. Not last week, but the week before. I posted four videos. The only day that I missed was Friday. That was the video that's going to be up tomorrow. Um, what was supposed to be a quick and easy thing turned into an absolute freaking nightmare and it took me all weekend long. Uh, from there, I was doing some work inside of the house. Um, I completely renovated one of our bathrooms, my hall bathroom, in which I did record that. I hope you guys are going to be interested in that. I made a video on it, so um, that's going to be coming up this week as well. And in the middle of all that, the air conditioning went out on my house. Um, and I, being the DIY guy that I am, just didn't want to call a company out to fix it. So I ended up replacing the, the, the defrost board, the thermostat, both capacitors, um, and the uh, defrost motor for the fan. I ended up replacing a bunch of shit up there. It turns out that my AC unit needed a whole lot of crap. It's one of those things that if I called a professional out in the condition it was in, they probably would have told me that I needed a whole new AC unit because just about all the little tidbits needed to be replaced. But doing it myself, I actually got all brand new parts, got it all installed, and everything is working um, under under 400 bucks for all the parts. I did all the labor myself, but anyhow, it's been one hell of a hectic ass week and that's the reason why I haven't put up any videos. So um, anyhow, long story short, I'm back. Go grab yourself a t-shirt. <laughs> um, and we have a bunch of parts to go pick up from Outlaw. All right, we are leaving Outlaw right now. Here is the remainder of the $5,000 we spent at this damn place. <laughs> We're still waiting on a Sloppy Stage 2 cam kit, which is for you guys. Um, it's currently on back order, but they're working on it. It's going to be here. Um, and uh, a pigtail that I need that goes with this. We'll cover this stuff whenever we get back to the house. Dun, dun, dun. 
time. So it is hotter than a motherfucker out here. Let me tell you what. Anyhow, I figured the blazer ought to be present uh, whenever I'm opening up all of its new presents. <laughs> and of course, it's filthy again. So I'm going to spray it off. It really is a constant battle here in Arizona to keep your cars clean because um, like while we don't get a whole lot of rain and stuff, we constantly have dust. So, you guys seen, I just recently washed this damn thing, but it's covered in dust again. And of course, it's gotten sprinkled on it from me watering my yard, which is also dying. Yeah, everything is dying, including me, because of the heat. Ain't that right, babe? The heat sucks, and I want to move to Florida. <laughs> well, it's just as hot, but then you have the whole humidity thing, so everything's sticky. You know, which is even worse. That's the only thing that we have going for us here is it's a dry heat, but it's still, still a miserable one. 120 degree dry heat, I don't give a shit. What the hell? So as you guys can probably imagine, we are not going to be installing all this stuff today. Um, there's still a little bit of things I still need to get, some supporting shit. But we can most certainly open it all up. I'm definitely excited to see what's in the boxes. I think we all know what's in this box. It's pretty clear what's in this one. <laughs> but you guys don't know what's in this one. And I can't wait to open it. So like I mentioned, the uh, sloppy stage two cam is on back order right now. But by the time our giveaway ends i will have it here it's bought it's paid for and it's on its way no worries but i did end up getting a different cam than the giveaway and the cam that braven has inside of his truck uh this is the texas speed uh stage three turbo cam uh, came with the dual valve springs titanium retainers bam look at those damn things man good freaking lord and of course with that it came with all the seals and all that and then uh hardened push rods I believe that's what it's called, hardened, I don't know. They're stronger either way. Um, and also a brand new set of comp cams lifters in which I am definitely stoked about. These are LS7, I believe is what it was. It's the go-to, it's what everybody runs. Um, anyhow, I do have a horrible lifter tick um, on the blazer that is every so often, man, you'll just be driving and you hear it coming. It's like and it gets louder and louder and it sounds freaking terrible so i'm ex definitely excited to uh replace those i do still need to get trays um i'll grab a set of those before we go to do the installation on all this but let's see what's inside of this box <laughs> oh my god would you just look at that <laughs> so yeah this is the terminator X. I did not get the Terminator X Max because for one, I don't have an automatic transmission. I don't need the transmission controls. Um, and I am drive by cable, I'm not drive by wire. So Braven needed the X Max because he is drive by wire. So yes, we are gonna be running a Blazer on a Terminator. I did get the Terminator X, not the X Max. Um, and like I said, those two ECUs are actually the exact same. I called and I talked to uh, technical support. So basically, the difference between the X and the X Max is the X Max you have uh, the ability to control, like the 4L60 and 4L80E transmissions, uh, because they have an electric controller. Um, those computers come with them. Um, also, the X Max you can run the uh, drive-by wire, which like Braven's truck has. I do not have drive-by wire and I do not have an electronic transmission. So luckily for me, I was able to save about 400 bucks on my ECU. Uh, it's a little bit cheaper because you, I don't need all that shit, but it is the exact same ECU. You have all the same functions and everything. Uh, we do have our little screen that it comes with, the ECU, the entire engine harness, Comes with a new O2 sensor. Definitely excited to get the truck on this. Then we're gonna have the tuning capabilities that we've been needing. Then of course I'm faced with the decision. Should I keep the stuff that I already got? Or um, should I sell that? The, the harness that we picked up and then the, I have an ECU in here um, that the VATS has been deleted and it's been opened up with HP tuners and stuff. So um, I don't know if I should put that on a shelf and save it for another project potentially 
or if I should just sell it, man. I mean, put in the comments what you guys think. But this is definitely going to be a huge step in the right direction. Um, the cam and this, of course. We're going to have to install this first so we're capable of tuning for the cam. And last, but most certainly not least, is what's inside of that box. <laughs> box within a box, man. I saw that coming. What the hell is this? Sorry, babe. <laughs> Filler rails. Yeah, you know how you do on Christmas. You put, you know, a small item inside of a big box. That's all that was in there. Just fuel rails. So now we can get rid of the stock fuel rails and run solid A in line all the way to it. Bam! Boy, freaking high rise, man! Dude, I cannot explain to you guys how freaking stoked it is that I am to get something like this. So uh, there, there are some future plans. The reason why I am running with uh, this intake manifold, but this is gonna make a huge freaking difference inside of the engine bay. Not only obviously power wise but definitely looks wise as well i get to get rid of the stock intake manifold the stock fuel rails the whole stock fuel system will be gone so with this we are now going to be able to run um the billet fuel rails and then we can run a uh, solid a in line all the way from the fuel tank up to the fuel rail and of course that's when i will run all ptfd line then we'll be safe to run e85 in this without having to worry about uh the fuel lines tearing apart um, and I did get the black one, of course, instead of getting the silver one. I think that cost like an extra 30 bucks, babe. Yeah. Is that what it was? <laughs> it's like an extra 30 or something like that to get it powder coated black. But it is what it is, bro. I feel like this thing just needed to be black. Oh, so made it black. Yeah, or else I would have ended up painting it black. Screw it. <laughs> Anyhow, this is a sick ass freaking intake. I am so stoked for this. Anyhow, we are going to be installing this stuff in stages. Uh, up first is going to be the Terminator. We're gonna have to do the Terminator. I wanna get the truck running and driving on the Terminator. So I know I don't have any problems. I don't wanna do a bunch of stuff all at one time um, because then if I end up having an issue, then where's the issue coming from? You know what I'm saying? I wanna do one thing at a time. So uh, the installation of this stuff is gonna be in stages. I do still have a few more things I need to get, of course, uh, fuel or uh, oil pump. I need to get an oil pump. I need to get a tr uh, the trays for the lifters. Uh, there's, there's a few other things. I have a list. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Just chipping at it a little at a time. Dude, all of this stuff right here, $5,100 worth of shit, bro. That's more than the blazer is freaking worth, man. <laughs> but that's the name of the game. What can I say? Oh, that is also including the uh, giveaway cam and, of course, those big old freaking meats on the back. But what can I say? The blazer most certainly deserves it. This thing is going to be an absolute monster. And there's still more to come after this. Uh, I have some of it, and I still need to get some of it. But yeah, this thing is going to be a monster. Whenever I say I want the Blazer to be competitive, believe me, whenever I say I want it to be competitive, I want to get in a small tire, no prep racing with this thing. Um, and in its current state, it's, you know, it's not fast enough for that. So we got to make it fast. <sighs> and this is going to be a very big step in that direction. But anyhow, guys, I hope you enjoyed this little video. Um, we're going to pick this stuff up today and I just wanted to take you guys along. I do have some more videos already recorded, scheduled for you guys for tomorrow. So whenever I say I'll see you tomorrow, I freaking mean it. Later. Here's how well it works. As long as that 60 foot works. <laughs> Shit! That's all, babe. Cut the clip! Cut the clip! Give me the camera.